Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Vea and I am currently a first-year student at Isabella State University taking up a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. It was a great pleasure for me to discuss our first science talk. Today, we're gonna learn about the major impacts of nanotechnology on society. First, let's define terms. Norio Taniguchi of Tokyo Science University is credited with coining the term nanotechnology. This refers to various technologies to provide materials of extra high precision and dimensions on the scale of one billionth of a meter. Hence, it implies the ability to generate and utilize structures, components, and devices. Now, let's proceed on how nanotechnology affects our lives on a daily basis. Unang na dyan ang cell pharmacology. Ginagamit ang nanomachines to site specific delivery of drugs na kapaki-pakinabang sa chemotherapy, gayon din sa cell surgery. Molecular electronics were in ngayon, meron na tayong faster, smaller, and more powerful computers that consume less power with long-lasting batteries. Scanning tunneling microscopy that is useful for imaging conducting surfaces nag-provide ng more functional and more accurate medical diagnostic equipment katulad ng lab on a chip technology that enables point-of-care testing in real time. Hence, nanomaterial surfaces on implants improves resist infection. Mayroon na rin tayong nanocrystals na nabuo by combining molecules to form commercial grade heat and rust-resistant coatings, limbawa na lamang ay mga crack-resistant paints. Pati na rin ang quantum dots in which the size and arrangement of nanocrystals impacts its physical properties. Alam mo bang, most sunscreens today are made from nanoparticles that effectively absorb light, including the more dangerous ultraviolet range? These same nanoparticles ay ginagamit rin in food packaging to reduce UV exposure and prolong its shelf life. Kasama na rin dyan ang carbon properties of nanotubes na ideal for enhancing different kinds of structures katulad sa mga ginagamit natin na sports equipment, body armor, at vehicles. Inan lamang yan sa mga realized and developed nanotechnology na talaga namang naka-apekto positively sa ating paumuhay, pati sa ating environment na nagbigay daan sa water treatment and purification, green nanocomposites, at environmental remediation. Ngayon, Dumako naman tayo sa nanotechnology's potential for improving the state of the world and some potential negative impacts of it. Dito sa Pilipinas, maraming projects ang patuloy na pinag-aaralan. Kabilang dito ang patuloy na pag-develop sa ICT na gagamitan ng mga nanowires para makapag-provide ng newer, better, and quicker ways for people to interact, network, seek help, gain access to information, and learn. Ang pagtuklas sa low-cost solar cell, ultra-high yield agriculture, zero pollution manufacturing, and even personal spacecrafts. Right now, the traditional methodology of surgery, painful injections, risk of infection and expensive, being replaced by nanoparticles that float in eye drops. Quick, painless, same results as the surgery, no risk of infection, and 90% cheaper. The potential uses of graphene, the strongest material ever measured, it is completely impermeable to liquid and gas yet weighs almost nothing. For computing ultra-long life batteries, the smartphones and televisions that are super thin, bendable, and unbreakable. That's the promise of hope of nanotech. While taking advantage of this new technology for health, environmental, and sustainability benefits, science needs to examine the environmental and health implications. Kung kaya't, it is very important to identify the negative aspects of the technology before they introduce it to the marketplace. Because risk is an important issue to consider in the early stages of any new technology. In conclusion, continuing, strengthening, and systematizing these efforts will allow the revolutionary technical area to develop in a sustainable, responsible fashion. Because the actions of developing countries themselves will ultimately determine whether nanotechnology will be successfully harnessed in the developing world.